SEALs defend your wheel bearings from water, dirt, and debris, but they can only do their job if they are properly installed. Today, I'm going to show you the right way to install our premium SEALs on a commercial vehicle wheel end. During this video, pay special attention to all warnings and cautions to help protect yourself, fellow maintenance professionals, customers, and your equipment. Before installing, clean the axle shoulder to remove any rust, scale, or old sealant. Remember that the premium seal may be 20 to 30% wider than the one you are replacing. So be sure to clean a large enough area of the spindle shoulder. If you plan to reuse the bearings, clean and examine them to be sure they are in good shape. If they're not, you need to replace them. Lube the inner bearing with the same lubricant you will be using in the wheel end. Then place the inner bearing into the hub. Lube the hub bore and the OD of the seal with the same type of lube that was previously used. Place the seal squarely into the hub bore. Since this is a Timken Premium seal, you can use a hammer and flat plate that covers the seal from edge to edge to tap the seal into place. Make sure the seal is aligned and fully seated in the hub and check to be sure it wasn't damaged during installation. Check to be sure there's no contact between the inner bearing cone and the seal sleeve and that the bearing can rotate freely. Lightly lube both the spindle and the ID of the seal with the same type of lube. Now you're ready to reinstall the wheel assembly onto the spindle. Follow the adjustment procedures for the appropriate style of wheel bearing, either preset or manual. I'm Rick Dahman. This has been a Timken Tricks of the Trade video, helping you build your service knowledge.